If you are using DaVinci Resolve to edit your video, but you're not using the Fusion page, you're missing out. And if you are using the Fusion page, but you don't know about this one secret, you could be missing out almost just as much. To show off the secret, I'm actually going to close Resolve, and here on my desktop is the secret. And if I open that up, we see a bunch of text. If I take all of that, copy it, go back into Resolve, drop a Fusion composition on my timeline, hop into the Fusion page, and then just paste, you see that I have pasted a stack of nodes here. And if I connect this to my media out, you see, yeah, this is a complete effect. This is actually a free preset that I made a little while ago recreating this iconic DVD bouncing screensaver. And I just pasted that into Fusion page from what was just a normal text document. Let's talk about it. So many people don't know that if you create any number of nodes in the Fusion page, you can select all of those and just copy them and you can paste those anywhere just as plain text. And with just a basic level perusal, you can see these tools, the nodes, I copied three of them. I copied a text plus node, I copied a background node, and I copied a merge node. And this is a really, really big deal and has so many different applications. Number one is troubleshooting. I first found out about this because I was hanging out on the official Resolve forums on the Blackmagic Design website, or maybe it was one of the other forums like Stake Underwater. They have these uh, big support forums, super helpful. But whenever someone asks about a specific problem inside Fusion, they will often share just a plain text file. And that will have all the different nodes they were working on, all the specific changes they saved, and then anyone can grab that file, or if they're just viewing it in a browser, copy all that text, paste it into Resolve, and see the exact version of what someone anywhere else in the world was working on. So if you have someone you want to go to for more in-depth uh, fusion information, or if you're working on your own effect and it isn't working out quite the way you want it to, instead of trying to explain what you're going for and explain how you set it up, you can just select all those nodes, copy and paste them in a plain text document and then send that and it will be, you know, kilobytes of space and they'll be able to load in and it will just work. And outside of troubleshooting, this can also just be really useful for um, delivery or sharing different things. We're gonna touch on macros soon if you are expecting that. Uh, but for now, if you are designing an effect like a pop-up lower third um, for a friend to use in a video or for a streamer to render out and use on stream, this is a great solution. If you are using only assets you created natively in Fusion, again, we'll touch on macros and some flexibility in just a second, then you can fully design and animate whatever you want and then just save all of this to a text file, send it to a friend, they can load it up, they can export it in as high resolution as they want and you don't have to worry about sending large files back and forth. Now on this channel, I've made and given away lots of free presets like this DVD bouncing logo screensaver. And if you've grabbed those and started uh, messing around with the download files or pulling them into Resolve or different things, you might have seen some of this. And that is because of the macro system inside Fusion. Again, if I just select these three nodes before, if I select all of those, I can then right click and go to macro, create macro. I've talked about this process before and it is crazy flexible, super powerful, super cool, it's amazing. But on a foundational level, all this is doing is looking at your nodes, grouping them, and then assigning some custom controls to them. Really, uh, on this page, you can choose any control um, from those three nodes that you selected, and that will be a control that the end user of this macro will be able to control. If I come to text and I just select styled text, that's great, and I just named it something like, yay. <laughs> If I file save as or save as group, I select save group here, I'll explain why in a second. If I save that right to my desktop, you see it saves as yay and it's a dot setting file. I will click save. And then now if I go back to my desktop, you see I have this secret we created earlier, but now I have this dot setting file. And this is still just a text file. And if I open it up, you can see, yeah, it looks almost exactly the same. But you can see instead of there's those three tools that has a little extra layers. Again, if you want to dive more into what is this is representing, you absolutely don't need to, especially when you're getting started. But now because this is a dot setting file, I could copy all of this text and repeat that process. Or I could just go back to the Fusion page. And if I pull up my desktop, you see I have that yay setting. And I can drag that dot setting file right into Fusion on its own. And you can see that brought in this group of nodes like that first screensaver we brought in and if you double click that it will explode out and you can, yeah there's those three nodes and remember we click styled text so now if I click that boundary to select all of them in the inspector we have that same styled text hi 
make sure you are previewing the right node. This is the foundation of presets, but this system is so, so flexible. And again, this is built on the fact that you can save all of this just as plain text. Now, we were able to open this up and see all the nodes because this is a group operator. If you just clicked save, uh, this would be a solid node and you wouldn't be able to open it up in that way. And a final note on presets I wanna touch on. Hopefully I will go into this in more detail um, soon. I've been sort of working up to it. Um, this is the first level, these dot setting files. You also have DR fx files this is what i actually deliver all of my presets in and that is the um framework that lets anyone easily um share and especially install these presets and also has several cool added features you can include media like images or image sequences you can give all your presets you want to use on the edit page custom thumbnails and you can even organize your custom presets in the edit page and custom drop down folders very cool but again i want to cover that whole system in more depth in an upcoming video um but if that's something you really want to see uh, leave a comment and it might get bumped up in priority a little bit. Hopefully this can be a diving off point to exploring the wide world of what has been shared in the community or what's available as presets or templates from all over the place, including from the sponsor of today's video, Motion Array. Motion Array is an unlimited download marketplace for creators. With either a monthly or annual license, you get access to over 80,000 different projects, templates, presets, and stock music and video clips to completely transform your work. I'm currently working on a massive video that talks a lot about online creators. And Motion Array's collection of stock footage makes it super easy to browse and find the perfect clip to support my work. I really like the camera movement in this one. They have a limited selection you can try for free, and if you click the link in the description, you can get $50 off an annual license. There are presets for Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, and importantly for us, DaVinci Resolve. There are logo reveals, text presets, animated assets, and a whole lot more. So click the link in the description, look around, you might find something you really like. Thank you Motion Array for sponsoring this video. But that's all, I just wanted to make sure as many people as possible knew about this feature in Resolve, that Fusion is, is built off text, it's pretty cool. Hopefully lots of you start uh, playing in the system and messing around with it, there's so much potential. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.